So the next piece that we can work on is, well, the easiest in our case would be the uh, the ones that we can use the reference. So in this case would be the legs. So let's go ahead and make those pieces. So in this case, as we can see, uh, start with this piece right here. It's a bit round, so I think in this case we can kind of use a cylinder for that. So space bar. So in this case we can probably get away with using this guy or if we think it's a bit high poly and we want to reduce our poly count we can also make a new cylinder with lower divisions but in this case I think using this one would just do fine so I'm gonna press ctrl D and just move this guy a bit press E to rotate I'm going to rotate on my X axis in this case and I can just come here and just type 90 press spacebar we can go back to our uh, reference area here then from here we can press R to scale so we can match the silhouette here okay one thing I'll probably do for this guy it's not going to keep it uh, as a single face so let's go ahead and go to right click and go to face select that area so that we have those faces selected press backspace or delete to delete those faces okay so now I know it's a single face uh, geometry there so now what I'll do is select faces and I'll delete the ones that I don't need in this case delete those and there we have it so from here I can go to edge select that edge and that edge I have those two selected and I can go to edit mesh extrude now in Maya 2015 make sure you are doing the edge extrude uh, and not face or vertex extrude or anything like that so extrude I'll press W and just move this guy and as we can see we can go to vertex and we can start to shape this guy according to our reference here okay so I'll go back to edge and I'll extrude another time let's go to extrude press W move this guy up to here and probably one more time, edge, extrude, W, and move this guy maybe up to here. Now let's go to vertex so that I can shape it here at the bottom. Okay. We can also use our perspective view to see exactly what this guy is meant to look like. Okay. And now let's go back to edge, but this time I'm going to choose the one at the top to edit mesh, extrude, move this guy here, edit mesh, extrude, W, move this guy here, edit mesh, extrude, W to move here, okay, give me what it looks like in this uh, view here okay yeah that looks perfectly fine and one last time I think uh, actually no I think that's fine and now what we do is move vertices here okay kind of shape it according to our image and that should be fine the back here I don't think it's that important because uh, it's going to be behind the body area okay okay there we have it okay Go back to our perspective view and that's what we have okay so that's our first num our piece number one 
actually I think I can do this a bit better there we go okay. so now let's let's go ahead and continue um, so let's make this guy right here now to save time and not going into menus and creating anything what I'll do is I'm just going to press Control D and move this guy press E go to rotate it W to move it and I'm going into face and I'm going to delete these guys because I don't need the roundness and we can go ahead and start shaping using this piece Okay, just like this. Go to Edge, select this guy, Edit Mesh, Extrude, W to move this guy, and we can just move this guy here. Go back to Vertex, move this guy down, and about here it should be fine. Again, I'm trying to keep this guy low poly. What I'll do is I'll uh, actually move these two guys back here and do the edge select that guy edit mesh and extrude move this guy back okay cool so now we have that piece done see how quick that was I think we can give it a bit more roundness here I think we can see it better here but there's a bit of roundness just one vertex should be fine okay so now that we have that guy we can move on to the next piece which is this guy and as you can see this guy also has that roundness so why not just use this guy there so control D Duplicate it, move it here, press R, scale that guy a bit. Okay. Go to face and I'm going to delete these guys. Go to vertex and we can start shaping this guy. And we're just saving a lot of time by not making a new piece. Just reusing the things that we already made. So that's a nice strategy when it comes to making these things okay so there we go we got that guy done that quickly okay now we're missing this guy I think we may be able to use this guy for that guy so what we can do is press ctrl D again move this guy press R to scale Move it around here and face. I'll delete these guys for now. Well, actually, yeah, I'll delete these guys. Okay. Vertex, like this guy. I know this guy has a bit of roundness, but since it's, I think, such a small piece, I don't think it will be that noticeable if we don't add it specifically. We can add it, but it's going to be a lot simpler. Go to Edge, Edit Mesh, Extrude. This guy, Edit Mesh, Extrude. Notice how we're using the same tools over again, it's just because those are the most useful tools, and you're going to find yourself using the same tools a lot of the time. Okay, Edge, Extrude, and this guy's going to go up here. Vertex. Okay. Let's 
see. We can look at this guy to see what the uh, profile is. I think it's a bit sharper. Okay. There we go. I think that's looking good. Okay, cool. And finally, we can make this other guy. Let's see. Oops. Since this guy also has that roundness, I think. I think we can go ahead and just use this guy again. Uh, press Ctrl D. E to rotate it. I'm going to rotate this guy. Press W. Press R to scale. There we go. Go to vertex mode. Oops. And we can start to shape this guy. Go to Edge, Edit Mesh, and US that. Let's do it again. Extrude is a fun tool. Extrude Vertex Mode. Move this guy down, this guy, mm, this guy as well. Okay, so now we have all those guys. We made them in pretty much no time, that was really quick. So now what we can do is we can give this guy some thickness just as we go back to our perspective view here um, they're flat so we're gonna give him some thickness 